and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This week, we have put together a few videos that will make awesome gifts for the holidays. From a gift bag dollhouse to a DIY Barbie, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We are going to use our folding doll room idea to make giant Christmas cards that are also doll rooms. Using poster board, scrapbook paper, calendars and magazines, washi tape, and glue. A standard 22 by 28 inch poster board can make two cards for a 10 to 12 inch doll. So I fold it in half, make a crease on the seam, cut on the crease to make two pieces. Take one and fold it in half again to make a large card. If I plan on mailing it, I may have to trim it down to make sure it can fit inside an envelope. Now I am going to decorate the card using scrapbook paper. Using a glue stick to glue the paper to the poster board. So for this card, I used brick on the bottom, tan on top, I continue on the back of the card, open it up, and cover the inside with paper as well. On the front, I draw, cut it out, glue a wood grain underneath, use washi tape for trim to make a stall. I found some buttons that I can glue onto the front. I glued one here and on the door. Curl pipe cleaners or a thin garland into a wreath, add a bow and hang it on the door. Make a lead line or use some twine for a rope. Find a picture from an old calendar, cut it out, glue it onto a piece of cardstock, cut it out, write a message on the back, then place the horse inside to make a card you can play with. And now our dolls have an easy to store horse stall. We can replace the cutout horse with one of our favorite models. Make more than one to expand the barn. With like three poster boards, I could get a six horse barn. So cool. Let's take another poster board, fold it in half, then fold it in half again, open it up, make a cut to the center point to make a folding doll room, cover with paper. I used a wood grain on the floor, gray on one wall, a white brick, then I trimmed it with a dark wood. On the outside, I used brick and then gray at the bottom. And on one of the floor panels, I put a snow print on the other side. Glue down paper for a door, cut pictures out of a magazine, glue them on, add trim to make windows and a door. Cut out more pictures to add decoration to the front of the house. Now let's decorate the inside. I cut out a picture of a fireplace and a Christmas tree. Use a picture from a calendar to make a window. Continue to cut out pictures to add detail to the room. Use a small piece of scrapbook paper for the greeting in the card to complete the room. Using old magazines and calendars is a great way to recycle. It's inexpensive and you get a fabulous looking doll room that can fold down to be a giant card. And you're done. Happy crafting! Holiday Barbie, can you make me a fancy dress? Like, right now. I am going to make a simple holiday dress using tights, beads, and a needle and thread. Using my doll as a guide, cut a section of the tights that measures from the doll's shoulder to the bottom of her feet. Stretch the material to curl it at the top and bottom. Turn it inside out Place the doll inside, 
Straighten it out so the doll is right in the middle. At the shoulders, I grab the material at the back and the front and pinch it together. Use a needle and thread to sew it together. Tie a knot with the excess string, then trim it. Repeat on the other side, tie and knot it, and trim off the excess. Remove it from the doll, turn it inside out, place it back on the doll, making a long straight dress. But let's give it a little more shape. Turn the doll over, I grab the material at the bottom of her feet, and use a rubber band to secure it to hold the material straight and make it easier to work with. Then I grab the material at her waist, pinch it and pull it together in the middle. Use a needle and thread to sew it together at that point. Tie, knot and trim off the excess. Turn the doll over and repeat on the front. Turn it over again this time, we're pinching behind the knee. Make then trim off the excess, just as before. Remove the rubber band to make the basic dress. What I like about this dress is that it is very simple. You can make one in about five minutes. And when making this dress, I prefer to use children's tights. At Walmart, they were less expensive and I got two in a pack. I use children's tights for these two and an adult small for this one. Now let's take it a step further. Sew on beads to add a little sparkle. Cut a rectangle of foam board and a right angle triangle. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. I cut the top off of the triangle, then glued it to the back of the rectangle. I take a glittery snowflake ornament and glue it onto the top to make a stand to display our doll and have fun altering the design to come up with different looks. Thank you for joining us and we hope you have as much fun as we did making your own 5-minute holiday gowns. And be sure to post a pic using hashtag MyFroggySofFanPics. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a dollhouse or a doll room in a gift bag. Using a large gift bag, cardboard, wrapping paper, gift boxes, and other holiday decorations like ornaments and stockings, then we need some wooden dowels, a bottle cap, fabric, sewing supplies, and glue. I start by cutting the back of the bag so that it can lay down. Use the sides of the bag as a guide to cut cardboard to reinforce the walls and floor. Cover the cardboard with wrapping paper, and I'm using a heavyweight wrapping paper that I found at Target. Once everything has been covered, I begin gluing the cardboard into the gift bag, which makes it sturdy. So now, when you look at the gift bag, this is the front, which is going to be the stationary back wall of inside the house. And when I open it up, I covered it so that these sides and the back look like wallpaper, then the bottom and then the other panel, this is the floor, which can be raised for the gift bag and then lowered to see inside the dollhouse. And this is a very large gift bag. It can totally work for an 18 inch doll, especially since one side lays down, giving more room to play. And for a smaller doll, like a 10 to 12 inch, I think we are going to add a second floor to make a loft. So I cut a rectangle of cardboard, a few strips, cover with paper, glue the strips into the box, making a lip that goes around the sides of the box. Glue the larger rectangle on top to make the second floor. I kept the ceiling for the bottom floor pretty tall to let in a lot of light. 
This made the top have a shorter wall, but since we're using it as a loft, it doesn't need to be full size. I'm using a blouse gift box for a platform bed. I covered a leftover piece of cardboard and glued it to one end. For a headboard, I take some fabric, and this is actually a kitchen towel that I cut into rectangles and sewed to make bedding. I add a fireplace from a previous video to the back wall. Cut a small circle of garland to make a wreath. I'm going to hang it right above the fireplace. I made a smaller one to go above the bed. Take a coaster, cut wooden dowels, glue them underneath to make a table. I found this faux fur stocking and I'm gonna cut a small circle out of it, glue it onto a bottle cap, glue wooden dowels underneath to make a fuzzy stool for the table. I use some of the leftover fur to make a rug and pillow. Use ornaments for holiday decorations around the room. So I placed a small tree in the corner upstairs. I have the word joy over the fireplace and we found a cute little gold tree for the corner. I'm going to place this polar bear next to the tree. I am going to recycle some paper tubes that we made in a previous craft to make a ladder for the dolls to reach the loft. I found a box of LED lights, use a little tape to secure it to the wall, hide the battery pack behind the tree for working lights, use plush ornaments for stuffed animals, and this dollhouse is ready to be the perfect gift. No wrapping needed. And you're done. Happy crafting! We're Santa's little helpers, we make the wheels go round. Day and night, night and day, here in Christmas Town. We're Santa's little helpers, and it's us you wanna know. If you want a date under the mistletoe We're Santa's little helpers and we make all the toys The trinkets for the... Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup Let us know mashups you would like to see in the comments down below Like, comment, share, and subscribe Don't forget to ring the bell And follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog And we will see you next time Bye! It's a fall!